channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. I am so excited that you're here today because we are making a healthy pizza crust. This pizza is totally different than anything that I've ever made before because the base is actually zucchini. So this is a zucchini pizza crust. It's gluten-free, it's grain-free, and it's low carbohydrate. We do use eggs in the crust, so it is not vegan, but I have provided a vegan option on my blog. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can get the full instructions, ingredient list, everything like that up on my blog. I've put the link for you down below. I would also love to welcome you to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure to tap that red button. And without further ado, let's dive into the recipe. The first thing that we're gonna need to do for our zucchini pizza is shred some zucchini. So we're going to just use a box grater to shred it up. You want three full cups of shredded zucchini. From there, you're gonna to wanna to press the water out. So we will add this into a clean dish towel and just use your hands to squeeze all of that excess liquid out. Once you have all of that out, you can transfer the zucchini into a mixing bowl and move on to the rest of the ingredients. The flour base for our pizza is almond flour, so we're adding in some almond flour. We're also gonna add in some coconut flour, which helps to absorb some of the moisture, some nutritional yeast for flavor, some sea salt, and some Italian seasoning. And then you'll mix this all together before you add in the eggs because this helps make sure you don't have any weird clumps inside of the crust. So once everything is evenly incorporated and the zucchini is coated with those dry ingredients, you can add in two beaten eggs and then just stir this all together until a sticky dough forms. It is gonna be sticky, so don't expect it to be like a dry pizza dough because that isn't what it looks like. It's gonna look like this, and from there, you will transfer this onto a parchment-lined baking sheet, and then just use your hands to spread it into whatever sort of shape you want. I spread it into a circle pizza because I like circle pizzas, but you could do square, you could do rectangle, whatever you like. Just kinda make sure that the thickness is about an eighth of an inch thick. From there, we will pop it in a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes, and we're actually going to need it flip it halfway through. So after the 15 minute mark, remove the pizza, flip it over and pop it back in the oven. This just helps make sure that both sides get evenly cooked and nice and kind of crispy. Once you've cooked it for the 30 minutes, you can remove it from the oven and you are gonna move on to your toppings. So I went with a classic red pizza here, tomato sauce, vegan cheese, topped with some cherry tomatoes, but you could totally do any sort of toppings that you want. I actually have a bunch of different flavoring options on the blog, so you can click the link that's in the description, head on over to this recipe and get all the different options that I outlined just for a little of inspiration. And then once you have all of your toppings on and you're ready to pop it back in the oven, just pop it back in the 400 degree oven for another 10 to 15 minutes until everything on top cooks, your cheese melts, and you're pretty much good to go. I removed it, I topped it with some fresh basil and some red pepper flakes because I love that extra flavor on top. I also actually recommend that you let the pizza sit for five to 10 minutes before you slice it. Just kind of lets that crust set. But once you slice it up, you are good to go. You can just eat it right away and it's so yummy. And I actually did find that you can also reheat this pizza, which is awesome. You can just pop it in the toaster oven or on a pan, whatever you'd like, and reheat it. And otherwise, I think you guys are gonna love it. Don't forget to check out the full recipe that's on the blog. And I can't wait to hear what you think. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe video and I hope you give this pizza crust a try because it's so good. You guys are gonna love it. And I have used it with a bunch of different toppings. The flavor is awesome. I love the nutritional yeast. I love the Italian spices. Oh, it's just so good. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure to leave them down in the comment box. I also invite you to come over to the blog, check out the full recipe. If you end up making the recipe and wanna share a photo with me, the best way to do that is to do something on Instagram. So you can either tag at Simply Quinoa or use hashtag Simply Quinoa. That is the easiest way for me to find your lovely creations, which is like my favorite part of the day. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting that red button right below this video. Make sure to also hit that little bell because that will turn on your notifications and make sure that you never miss a new video. Otherwise, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, for being part of this community, for supporting this channel. You are awesome and I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.